you know that it's summer when I stop wearing black every video and I start wearing white. I literally have two colors in my wardrobe. Hi guys. So I wanted to talk to you today about emotional blocks and releasing them through bodily practices. When I talk about this kind of stuff, I don't really plan and I just have an idea of what I want to say and then I develop uh, my own thoughts in the process of speaking because somehow it's easier for me to think this way uh, I hope that you don't mind and please share your experiences with me if you have Experienced something like this or maybe you have some answers that I don't have But what I wanted to talk to you about today is the relationship between our bodies and our minds and uh, What was a catalyst for this is that when I do yoga and I do um, a lot of yin yoga which is like stretching and holding poses for five to two minutes or so and i have noticed that a lot of emotions get released in certain poses in some poses i'm totally perfectly still and present and i don't really feel anything but the physical aspect of the pose and then there are some emotions that arise in certain asanas that I am kind of surprised by and I cannot understand people who don't believe that our minds and bodies are uh, separate but connected and that some people really believe that our bodies is all that there is which I, like I don't understand how you can possibly believe that um, and also I was one of those people who hated their bodies and it took me a very long time and a lot of effort to kind of make peace with it and I think that it's a process that doesn't have an end because there is always somewhere that you can improve this sort of stuff but I feel like this uh, yin yoga thing really helps especially with releasing this emotional blocks because when you are self-aware and you do this completely consumed by what you are doing. You can notice yourself with those emotions arising in you and for me it happens a lot in the like hip opening and hip stretching poses uh, so I would be perfectly calm and still and peaceful and then I do a certain pose and then I just have a visual image or something disturbing in front of me and I have this feeling of unease and unsettledness and then I want to stop the pose but I sort of just breathe through it and I try to understand where it comes from and what my body is trying to tell me and then it becomes better and better and the more you sit in this position the more relaxed you become and if you start paying more attention to your body, you really discover so many wonderful things. And this is what I encourage everybody to do. I struggle with um, when mindfulness becomes a routine, and I already talked about it a couple of videos ago. Um, when you make some mindful practices like meditation or yoga or stuff like that, when you make them a routine, they sort of lose their novelty and you don't feel like it is something uh, inspiring and exciting anymore and you just feel like you it's like a mundane task that you have to do you know and I feel that our bodies have a lot to tell us and we should really listen to them more and I think that especially through this sort of stretching exercises we can find so many emotional blocks I think that it's now being proven over and over again that uh, negative emotions get stored in our body for example through hormones like cortisol the stress hormone and the build-up of this hormone uh, increases the rate of us aging and it increases uh, the risk of certain cancers and certain heart diseases and other kind of stuff I think maybe Alzheimer's as well I'm not really sure so for people who don't really believe uh, that emotions can cause physical damage like, I don't know. I, I don't understand how people cannot believe that. But um, yeah, so 
our emotions can get stored as blocks in our bodies and not even like metaphysically but we do clench different parts of our bodies when we feel certain emotions like we clench our jaws or our legs or our fists and then i think that this sort of tension can become the bodily memory of your muscles and just uh, get stored there and a lot of it happens in your spine and all that and I think that this releasing of emotional blocks can be painful because it alleviates all those emotions that you have been piling up inside yourself but this is how you know that you should be doing this more and more because then you realize that there is still some things that you don't even know about inside yourself and that if you pay more attention to it maybe it will teach you something new about yourself and your body or maybe i don't know well it can only be of a benefit right so yeah and i think that you can not necessarily do yoga for that but you can just um sit down and just be very present in your body and look where there is tension and ask yourself why is there tension in my body in this part and just wait for a response to come because i think that we already know a lot of things like in our subconscious that we are not really aware of and if we just give ourselves some time and some silent listening then we can discover a lot of things about ourselves that we don't really know and i really believe that our unconscious 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 that our unconscious holds a lot of different secrets and thoughts that we would greatly benefit from but we just don't pay attention to it because we think that we are smart asses and we don't really know much about anything in life so yeah i don't know there is no lesson in this video i usually try to kind of bring something forward for you guys to learn but in this case it's just our minds and bodies are connected and i'm still discovering these connections and our bodies are such wonderful wonderful vessels so if you're still watching this video please go and give yourself a hug and i don't know give yourself a foot massage or book an appointment at a spa or something just give back your body some love and say thanks to it because it allows you to experience life to the fullest and all the senses that you have and your legs and your arms and your brain and your heart and everything i mean our bodies are pretty amazing and um don't disrespect them by mistreating them and you will see how many beautiful things unfold in front of you so Thank you so much for watching this video and I love you guys very much. Be nice humans and bye.